Hey guys, this is Kevin Bergeron with RSD Thermal, and today I'm going to show you how to select an electric duct heater to be used with an ERV. Before we select our duct heater, we want to make sure that our selected ERV has proper airflow data along with the uh, design conditions that go with it. Once we get everything entered for those, we can look over to our ERV performance tab underneath the unit selection tool. And if we look under the fresh air winter column and match it up with the dry bulb, row we'll see a fresh air temperature of about 54 degrees. Now the general rule of thumb with Renew Air is that as long as our air streams are balanced we'll get around a 50 degree um, fresh air temperature. Now a lot of times our units will be paired with uh, something like a hot air furnace just to be you know introducing fresh air to the entire building. A lot of other times we'll have a complete standalone system where we're just dumping that you know 50 degree ish air into the space. When that happens usually we're going to want to have to temper that air and a lot of times we use a duct heater to do that. Now in order to figure out what kind of duct heater we need we're going to head over to the unit accessories tab and hit add rectangular electric heater. The reason we're using the rectangular tool, I'll get into the round tool later, is this tool has a built-in selection software. So this will tell us the amount of watts we need um, along with what our temperature rise is gonna be and other data along with that. The first question that the tool is gonna ask you is the uh, duct dimensions. Now a good rule of thumb um, is to use the uh, starting collars for the unit. Since we're working on HE 1.5, we can go over to Renew Air's website and under our ERVs, um, we can find HE 1.5. Under that, we can click on Submittal and Drawings and underneath this Submittal, we can find uh, Dimensional Drawings. Here we can see we're working with an 18 by 18 duct receiving flange. So just for this example, I will type in 18 by 18, but this can vary based on job. So be sure you confirm what your uh, dimensions are gonna be. Now, once we have that entered, we can type in our temperature in, which was 54 degrees, and our desired temperature out, which for this example, I'll say 75. Once you click out of that, you'll see what our capacity needs to be to get that temperature rise, along with what the actual temperature out is if we were running it at a full you know, 7kW. From then on we can go to our electric service where we're going to choose our voltage you know, and a bunch of different options similar to how we're you know how we normally build out an ERV. So these are going to depend on your job but just to make things quick I will choose ones that I think are appropriate. And similar to an ERV, you're just gonna wanna work through these left tabs here until you get to the summary tab, which will show the full model number and all of the options that you chose. If you're satisfied with your selection, hit save and return to ERV. And this will bring you back to the unit accessories tab. Now, say we were working on a unit that had round duct work or round starting collars. By using that tool, we can find out what the wattage we need is, and now we can go into our add round electric heater. Now this tool is a little bit more limited than the electric or the rectangular heater tool, but we can still choose different duct sizes, voltages, heater capacities based on what we found, along with you know, our control types and stuff like that. And that is how you figure out what type of electric heater you need to be used with an ERV. If you have any questions, feel free to call our office. Our number is 781-320-9910. Thanks guys.